So we have a new initiative that was started under the Obama administration called Feed the Future, which was just really the same goals as the CGIAR, which was to increase world food security or world, world, world food supply. So um, as part of my role, uh, the year I spent in Washington as a Jefferson Science Fellow, I was the, became the livestock expert um, in terms of animal health. And I came out to Africa several times and did surveys and talked to various chief veterinary officers in African com countries, went to the AUI bar meeting and came up with what seemed like a priority. And interestingly, the priorities, the two top were East Coast fever and trypanosomiasis, the same priorities that were, were, were came up to the top when ILRED was established um, back in the 70s. So when um, money became available to start to fund actual research, a certain proportion of Feed the Future is for, for more basic science research. We focused on East Coast fever and we worked in communication with USDA. I still think that solving infectious diseases, that vaccines really are the ultimate solution. And we can do other measures and short-term measures to reach goals to help control diseases along the way, but, but ultimately to eradicate diseases, infectious diseases, uh, vaccines are where we need to be. So vaccines are, of course, a long-term investment. They're a very expensive investment. But now I, the, the recognition of the importance of vaccines is come back to the forefront. And importantly, we're starting to be able to put money together and having various agencies interested at, and now the Gates Foundation getting into this arena is is just terrific.